in it. Steve. Hey YouTube, Cine Steve back with another video. Let you know what I've been playing and what I've been picking up over the last month or so. I've been away quite a while. But yeah, glad to be back. But first up, I've got to show you is um, Hyper Bishy Bashy on the Egret 2. I think I've done a video on this quite a while ago when I picked up I picked up three of these sort of games. There was um, Super Bishy Bashy, Hyper Bishy Bashy and Salaryman Champ, which the Salaryman Champ, is, there's a lot of um, like Japanese dialogue in there, so a little bit unplayable, but they're all like quite simple mini games. A little bit like WarioWare. <laughs> So basically you've just got these three buttons, red, green and blue, two player. And yeah, it's pretty much just um, sort of brain dead, smashing the buttons and yeah, it's really quite cool, like one of the best like multiplayer arcade games I've ever played. It's so much fun. I remember playing it at Arcade Club quite a few years back with um, Fantasia and Design, Darren and Chris. And uh, yeah, we had so much fun with it. Um, it got released on the... PlayStation 1, there's Bishy Bashy Special, and I believe that's got both games on it, Super Bishy Bashy and Hyper Bishy Bashy, but obviously it's, it's really nice to have the um, the proper button layout rather than the uh, the PlayStation pad. So this uh, this control panel I made myself, it's literally just um, cut the metal, I think it's about 2 mil thick, something like that, just under that, 1.8 mil thick, um, and Muddy Music, done the artwork for me. Um, really happy with the way it came out and a special massive thanks as well goes to Monster Mug Lee if you haven't checked his channel out go over there he's uh, got a fantastic arcade collection as well as um, the Sharp X68000 oh, unbelievable collection go and check him out but he done a, he done the wiring for me it just meant that I didn't have to butcher in the old wiring loom because I had I got an original panel for it um, funnily enough, the whole lot came from Lee as well. He bought it, he knew uh, I was after it. And uh, yeah, passed the deal on to me. So, got the artwork in the marquee as well. Hyper Bishy Bashy Champ. But as I say, not the deepest of arcade games, but loads of fun. Absolute loads of fun. I know I'm going to have really good fun with this with, uh, with my family. My little girl, she's only four. She's loving smashing the buttons as well. And even my wife likes playing it. It's, it's, it's a real good load of fun. Moving on to uh, Robotron, this was the uh, 10 pence game. The other, well, probably about three, four weeks ago now, and we had uh, a lot of competition going. I know Chucky Egg, Ninty Arcade, he's, uh, he's got, got a dedicated cab of this. And I'm, I never minded the game, I, I, quite, I always quite liked it, but when you start playing it properly, you just realise how much of a great game it is. Um, this is only running in MAME. Um, not the same as using the old Wico sticks on a on a dedicated cab, but no um, monster mug again. He's got a uh, a Nos cocktail. I don't know if anyone remembers me doing a video on that when we picked that up. Um, and I actually when we was doing the wiring on Bishy Bashy, I had a little go on uh, on his cocktail and got my high score up. I think I got just over I think about three hundred eleven thousand. So really happy with that. Brilliant game. And uh, with Revival coming up, I thought I'd be playing a little bit of Bomb Drek as well. I know um, Roger Canto is one of his favourite games, so I'm pretty sure there'll be a cab there. I don't know if he's taking it. But another game which, a little bit like Robotron, I didn't really get it at first, but I think when you get a bit of competition going, you get right into it, and it's uh, yeah, a really fun game. So yeah, that's what's going on in the, uh, the cabs at the moment. Um, those two are playing MAME, and that's got the original uh, PCB in it. So, uh, yeah, just, just tinkering about with the arcades at the moment. But panning round, I've got a new system in the in the collection, which I've, I've only ever had one of these before, and it literally just collected dust at my, my old house, and it'll probably just collect dust here, but I've got a PS3. Um, Facebook Marketplace, I seem to be getting some really good deals on there at the moment. This was um, 40 quid for, I think it's 160 gig Slim that came with these games two controllers 
I mean, I don't think there's anything special in there, really. I mean, I, I know there's some good games in there. I mean, God of War's usually, I think that's pretty rated. Um, but for 40 quid, I mean, I'm pretty sure the, the controllers, you get credit for something like 17 quid each on those. So, But I, that's not what I got it for. I just thought I, I haven't got one. The PS4's not backwards compatible. So, uh, yeah, I thought I would just um, add that to the collection. And uh, moving on to the Switch, I know you... It's not everyone's favourite, but I've been playing a bit of FIFA. I've got a um, a bit of a bargain bundle again from fa Facebook Marketplace. Um, got to have Grealish in my uh, in my ultimate team because um, that's what I like. I do like FIFA. I've, I've, I've been a FIFA player for quite a long time, probably since about 2011, 2012, when Pro Evo went a bit rubbish. But I do like the ultimate team. I don't really play anything else on there other than that. So yeah, to be playing it on the Switch is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that, that, that bargain deal a bit later. Moving on to the retro consoles. We've got Contra 3, the Alien Wars. This is the um, Ninty Arcade, again, Chucky Egg. Alex, he's doing a, uh, a competition for SNES games. Not just SNES games, he says he's going to uh, go into uh, lots of other games for other consoles, maybe the Mega Drive and NES. Um, but it's quite a lot of fun. I mean, this is what, what we're, we're doing, isn't it? Like, rather than just like take a break from the collecting and actually play the games. I know this copy I've had for quite a while. It's an um, American copy. It's not in bad nick either, pretty good. But it's a fantastic game and I'll uh, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll have a bit of a go later and in the week, because I know the deadline for this one is next Sunday. Just go over to his channel and uh, or his Facebook page, and Indie Arcade, and uh, Submit your scores, everyone get involved. Um, moving on to vertical screen, Dreamcast, Under Defeat. Um, I was just messing about with this the other day, actually. I've, I've been trying to sort of play a few more Dreamcast games because I'm hoping to do a uh, my favourite list. So I thought I'd just check a few. I didn't know that well, but I've definitely played before. Um, now, this is pretty cool. I updated the firmware on my Vec Fever. And a lot of people have been doing, uh, sorry, I don't know who's been doing it, but emulators have been coming out for Vector Arcade games. So you, you literally run the run the emulator via the uh, Vec Fever and put the main ROM on there. So there's quite a few at the moment. This is Tempest, obviously playing in black and white. Um, I know the monitor needs a little bit of a, uh, a tweak. But yeah, really cool. Really impressed with that. I know I've got... Um, Asteroids and Asteroid Deluxe, which they play spot on. Well, I'm, I'm not amazing players of those games, but they seem to play great. I love that Vector Glow. I really want to grab one of those um, uh, UV overlays. And uh, I know somebody done a frame for it as well with lights to make it look pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping I can pick uh, one of those frames up at Revival. But yeah, this monitor definitely needs a bit of a tweak. Might, the game might just need calibrating, I'm not sure. But it's definitely not drawing the lines as they should be. Um, but yeah, we can check that out another time. But yeah, if anyone who does like their vet checks, anyone going to revival, go and check out Chris CMP. He, uh, he'll have a great lineup of uh, vet checks homebrew games, and I know I'm, I know he'll be selling his own game there, Frontier, brand new game coming out for the vet checks, which I've heard really good things about. It's like a sheriff clone. So yeah, really looking forward to that, guys. You should get over there, come and say hello. But obviously, if I'm not in a uh, in a competition with Retro Dave, if you see me on a cab, then uh, yeah, just stay away from me. Come back when it's Dave's go and uh, put him off. <laughs> but yeah, Amiga 32. I haven't had many Amiga 32 pickups lately, but yeah, pick this up um, again. I'll, I'll, I'll go into it when I uh, sit down in front of the tripod. But this is a disposable hero on the CD32. Been after a while. Gremlin graphics game. It's all right, it's nothing special, but I've been after it a while because it's a, a shooter for the Amiga. But yeah, pretty cool, not too bad. And then that one, still going strong, I'm glad to say. Um, not been playing it much really. Uh, it's literally just been sitting there, but to be honest, it's, it's doing exactly what I want it to do really. <laughs> it's still working, which is great. Um, I, I, I really like the game. I wouldn't say it's not it's not a growl game for me, but I do really like it. Um, 
and it seems to have gone up in value about 500 quid since I bought it. <laughs> I don't know what's, what's going on. I mean, I, I say it's gone up in value. I mean, obviously, that's eBay prices. There's been a few going on there, and it's, it's going over two grand, which uh, is quite ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I mean, personally, I, I don't think I'd ever want to sell something like this on eBay. I'd, I'd much rather do it on UK VAC, at least then the uh, members on there know exactly what they're buying and they know what to expect. We, we know that these things can go wrong at any given time. <laughs> but yeah, all going strong. But anyway, let's uh, get back in front of the dry, tripod and uh, I'll show you my pickups. All right, let's go on with the pickups. I, um, I've got plenty of Mega Drive. I'm, I'm gonna leave all the Mega Drive till the end. There's quite a few of them. I've got a few modern bits and and some Amiga as well. So let's, I'll crack on with the modern bits first, get them out of the way. Um, as I say, from earlier, FIFA 19, this was on, uh, I say, Facebook Marketplace. There was three games available. Obviously FIFA 19, Red Dead 2, which, um, it got such good ratings that I do want to play it. And uh, Forza Motorsport 7, which, Again, it's another game I would play. I, I like the Forza series. I don't really buy many modern games anymore. I mean, those two I still haven't even loaded up. But I say Facebook Marketplace, there's a lot of good deals on there. And what they work out, I'm sure they wanted something like, I think it was something like 40 quid for free, which wouldn't have been a bad deal at all. But I ended up getting them 30 quid. Literally five minutes up the road from me. I thought I picked them up all day long, and I, I say I'm, I'm not even looking to flip them because I will play all three of them. I was saying earlier, I do do like my Fifas, so uh, and on the Switch they're brilliant. So obviously, play them on the go. Um, I finally folded, and ended up getting a uh, PlayStation Mini that I nearly just dropped. Um, still sealed. I probably won't open it. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't got a, a chipped PlayStation, so it's not like I can just play whatever PlayStation game I want. And I know that these are are quite easy to mod I don't know I might open it I might see uh, see if it's any good but I don't know it might just stay stay on the shelf like a lot of this other stuff so yeah that's the that's the the modern out of the way um, I'll get onto the Amiga um, and the first one I'll show you um, I won a competition Mr. Bads he does he does it every other month. I know he had a bit of a break for me, which I don't blame him because he's given out 20 quid out of his own pocket every time he done it. Um, and yeah, I won it. Um, to be honest, I didn't even really want to take the money. I don't know. I didn't want to insult him and say, no, no, I'll keep it. So, I mean, he's put the competition on. Um, but yeah, he asked my details and he sent it straight over. But I thought, I'm, I'm going to buy something with it that obviously add to my collection. And uh, I thought, what better than a, a Psygnosis game? And uh, it's Prime Mover. As you can see, it's uh, not in bad condition. And uh, it's one I didn't have. I'm not sure if it's any good because I literally loaded it to the uh, to the loading screen, title screen. It looks all right. Don't know too much about it. I know there's a couple of uh, motorbike games for the uh, under the Psygnosis label. I can't remember the other one. Is it Red Zone? Something Zone. Um, that was the one I meant to get because I'm sure that that one's the better game. But yeah, thanks a lot, Mr. Bads. He, uh, as I say, go over and check his channel out. I'll put a link in. Um, what's next? This game I was talking to Big Mike about actually. He asked if I had it and I said yes. And then when I looked, I was like, no, I don't think I have. And he was like, yeah, it's quite sought after now. Um, so I thought I'll just, I went on eBay, put it in my search list and uh, there was a few that came up and it's Joe and Mac Caveman Ninja. It's in pretty nice condition. There's a couple of, uh, there's a bit of a ding there. But other than that, it's in really nice shape. Um, obviously all complete. Don't mind opening this one up because uh, the Psygnosis boxes are a bit of a pain. But yes, yeah, it's, it's not a great game. It's an action platformer. And uh, the jumping mechanic's absolutely dreadful on it. I know it weren't highly rated, but yeah, what I pay for this? I think it was something like 30 quid. It was in it was in the auction with best offers. And I'm sure I offered 40 quid. And I, I wasn't even sure if it was worth that much, to be honest, but it was in nice condition. I thought, well, I'm happy to pay that. And uh, he just declined it straight away. And um, it was 30 quid in bid, like uh, for the first bid, starting bid. So I 
bid the 30 quid and ended up winning it for 30 quid so uh, yeah quite happy with that and it all works which is good now I've got some uh, this one was a this one was from Play Nation I only bought this literally the other day and uh, it's a game called Space Racer the case is a bit mangled on it but it's, it, the case doesn't even have hinges it's a really strange case but it was literally a quid and looking at Lemon Amiga rev reviews it didn't review too bad they said it was a mediocre game that could have been better but worth a blast and then we've got some of these absolutely dreadful cases in fact I'll show you this one first because the other one was in a bit of a bundle we've got Cyberball in these Tengen Domark cases what's this one open like yeah absolutely dreadful um, this is the, actually the only one I know Big Mike's got a few that's gone a bit yellow. This one has gone a bit yellow, but only the front part of the case. The back of it's absolutely fine. So, uh, yeah, I, I might swap that out at some point. And then we've got... This is one that Rollercore, Eddie, he showed this the other week. And funnily enough, whenever I do eBay searches, I've usually got it set for auction rather than buy it nows. And when I looked into auctions on this there was none there and I thought oh is this quite sort of it's quite rare like I couldn't seem to find any and then when I realized that I had it just on auctions there was quite a few on there and this came from uh, retro pixels and it was only about I actually got a bit of a deal with this other one I think it ended up costing me it was around a tenner something like that but I do quite like these I like seeing the uh, the arcade cabs on the back back of the box um, the only thing I don't quite like about this is that where is the twin pack? You've got obviously uh, Space Invaders on that side and Pit Fighter on that side. I might just get another one so I can have them all, <laughs> all pointing out on the shelves like that. I have one this way and one this way. But Pit Fighter is a dreadful game. Space Invaders is actually pretty good. Super Space Invaders on this. It's not too bad. Um, and I know when Eddie opened this, it seemed to open all right. So let's see how my one's going. I tell you what, I don't know if it's something about the Space Invader one that's one of the better ones. I don't know. But yeah, happy to add that. And I actually thought that that was the last one in the collection for these type cases, but it's not. I believe I've got nine of them. Um, but there's another one, Zybots, which there's only one on eBay again from uh, Retro Pixels, and I think she wants about 25 quid for it, and I thought I'm not, not paying that, so that can uh, we can wait for that one. And then lastly for the Amiga... Again, from Retro Pixels. I remember seeing this game uh, for, it was in auction, like really low starting bid. I, I kept an eye on it to the end. And I, I remember saying to uh, the Big Mike, I, I remember Retro Pixels had this very game and she wanted 50 quid for it. And I remember saying to Mike, I was like, it's not worth that. Like, no way. It's a 20 quid, 20 quid game at most. I, I'm just going to wait it out. And then uh, when it came in an auction, I was like, happy days. I'm, I'm going to get that. And I, I went in fairly strong I think I think I went in at 40 quid expecting to get it for about 20 quid I, you know, I just didn't think it was going to go for that much and I ended up losing it and it went for about 55 quid so yeah a bit gutted about that but went over to Retro Pixels again this was probably about two or three weeks ago because I wanted that Pit Fighter and Super Space Invaders and uh, I don't think she done me a, a pretty good deal because um, she wanted let's say 50 quid for this game I ended up getting it for 44 and the game in question is uh, Commando which I think it I think it plays better than the C64, as you'd expect being an Amiga title. The music's nowhere near as good as C64. I mean, Rob Hubbard is a complete genius with that SID chip. Um, but it's it's a pretty good pull. It's not too bad. I, I, I quite like. It. I mean, it's a, I like the game anyway. It holds a lot of nostalgia for me. And uh, yeah. One I've been after for a while, so uh, really happy to get that. And a 44 quid, I think that's not too bad deal. It's not one you see very often. And then, uh, yeah, we've got CD32. I can't remember the last time I had some CD32 pickups. Funnily enough, it was probably about a year ago when uh, I got that massive bundle that I got from uh, that Tootie picked up for me, Tootie UK. And I remember picking it up from him at Revival. So yeah, probably about a year ago. So obviously we've got Revival coming up next week, but. Yeah, CD32, these, uh, as, as you saw earlier in the, uh, on, on that I had run in, Disposable Hero, this is the one I've been after for, for quite a while. 
um, I wanted it at a decent price. Again, it usually goes for around 40 quid, I believe. It's usually around 40, 50 quid. And uh, again, I didn't really want to pay that much for it. Um, but I ended up getting it in a bundle with uh, another game I wanted as well, Fly Harder. Um, this isn't too bad, it's really hard. It plays a little bit like, um, a little bit like Gravatar, a little bit like sort of Lunar Lander, a little bit, if anyone's ever played, actually what's that, uh, Gravity Force on the Amiga. It's quite hard to control, but it's all right. It's not a bad game. Graphics are good, quite like graphics, quite like the music, but it is really hard. It's a really hard game. And then it came with this sort of demo disc, Fresh Fish uh, demo disc, November to December 2004. I don't know if, the, uh, sorry, 2004, 1994. I don't know if this was a magazine or if they were just released as like PDs. I, I have no idea. I don't know if they're just PD discs, but these um, these come from America and I thought I was getting a, a, a really good deal on it because I ended up winning the auction for something like 30 quid for free, bearing in mind Obviously, I don't think that's worth anything, but both games probably around 60 quid. And so I think I won the auction for about 20 quid, but the postage and the yeah customs tax ended up costing me about 20 quid. So I think it was about 50 quid these ended up costing me in the end, which not the worst deal, but it could have been a lot better. Right, here we go. Mega Drive. I'm back on collecting Mega Drive now. I've pretty much got nearly everything Amiga I want. There's a good, I say that, there is quite a few Mega games I wouldn't mind getting, but I'm, I'm really, there's, a, there's about 10 I want that I would pay going rate for and above. Um, I know Mr. Badsy mentioned Gem X the other day, I, I wouldn't mind having Gem X. Again, I don't really want to pay over 100 quid for it, but it's a game I want. And there's, there's a few more, there is definitely a few more Mega games I want, but I'm also as I've said before, looking for different publishers, whether it be Ocean, Gremlin, um, Team 17, which I believe I have all of now. Um, Elite, I wouldn't mind getting all the Elite games, and I say, like, Zybots as well. So th there is a few, but I'm, I'm not concentrating as much. I mean, I was literally checking eBay listings for Amiga about 10 times a day. I'm not, I'm not doing it now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concentrate a bit more on, on Mega Drive. And, uh, yeah, I've got a few... I've got, yeah, I've got some great games, great games to show. Um, there is quite a few. There's about, called the best part of 30, I reckon, here. So I'll go with uh, the worst ones first. This was, again, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, they only cost me a fiver, fiver for all three of them. Again, two of them I've already got. One might make a good box donor. Uh, but I will be, obviously, moving these on. That's PJ European Tour and uh, NHL. NHLPA Hockey 93, which this actually looks like a, a nice box, a nice um, EA box. It is, it's a really nice EA box. So that's a great, well worth having. Great thing to have, because I know for a fact I've got a lot of um, EA boxes in pretty shocking condition. And then we've got um, IndyCar featuring uh, Nigel Mansell. Blue Spine from a man, Scott Brand. <laughs> He loves it. I've been looking forward to seeing him at Revi Revival next week. But it's all complete. Um, not in bad, Nick. It's, do you know what I mean? It's solid. No idea if it's any good. But yeah, for Fiverr, those three games for Fiverr, like literally cannot go wrong. So yeah, that's probably uh, the worst bundle, but cheapest. Then this next bundle, where did these come from? Uh, Facebook. Facebook group, I think it was Retro, yeah, it was definitely Retro Realm, it was da David Jameson, anyone that's on Retro Realm would know David Jameson, he sells a lot of Mega Drive games, um, and he's, yeah, he's done me a pretty good deal, like, it's, it's not a bargain, don't get me wrong, but when you get so far into Mega Drive collecting, it's hard to get bargains, like, we, everyone knows how I do it, I like to get the bundles, sell off what I don't need to get the money back, and I have done that with, I'll show my next pickup to a certain extent, but, Obviously, when you only need, I say only need, but when you need quite a lot of sought after games, they just don't really come in bundles. But this bundle, where, where he sells so many, he sells them in small bundles anyway. So uh, I ended up getting uh, a, a pretty good deal. I'm pr I can't even remember how much these five cost me, but I know they were over 100 quid. 
Um, but first up we've got Jurassic Park, really common title. Hang tab, all complete. Really nice nick actually. Um, Tasmania, which I couldn't believe I didn't have because there's me saying about getting them in bundles. I, oh, this must be in like, loads of bundles, really common game. No idea how it's passed me by, but I didn't have it, so I just bundled it in. Then we've got Warlock. Not one you see too often. Um, it's obviously got the wrong box, which I hope I can uh, swap that out at some point. But that's the other thing now, because I'm coming into a lot of games what I've never had, I don't know too much about them, <laughs> which is uh, doesn't really go for great viewing, but I know a little bit about this one. I think everyone knows a bit of Battletoads. Fine has got, uh, Spine has got a touch of fading. I mean, I, again, I haven't even cleaned these or anything yet, but oh, I mean, all five of these were complete and uh, in really nice nick. Oh, cart ran the wrong way. Can't believe a uh, Retro Realm admin's doing that to me. And then the one I really wanted, Sunset Riders. Don't think it's as good as the SNES version. I've actually, I've played this one. And I've played the SNES one as well and I've played the arcade. But classic Konami. Really happy to add this one to the collection. And as I say, really, really good, really good condition. I think the only one that really needs a bit of a box upgrade is that Warlock, which um, there's no hang tab on it and it's not even the correct case. So uh, yeah, we can, uh, we can sort that out. Um, in fact, I'll leave the, uh, the quite expensive bundle till last. I'll go on to CEX. Now, I've never used CEX credit before. I've never been one for um, bundling everything up, like doing the boot booters, going to charity shops, getting all the, getting all the CEX fodder, trading it in. I've, I've never done it. I've just, I don't really go to the booters at all, like I, I did years ago, but not, not anymore. Because I do so much overtime at work and I always find that rather than going to the booter and hopefully picking up 50, 60, 70 quid's worth of credit, I could go to work and I know exactly what I'm getting and the overtime's always there and anyone that knows me well knows how easy my job is, so I'll just go in and earn it that way. Um, so this was, yeah, uh, this, this was the first time I've ever used credit because um, I had an old phone that, I thought I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trade it in anything with electrics. You can sell it on eBay. Obviously, you probably get top dollar for it. But if something goes wrong again, there's comebacks. Whereas I thought this phone I literally haven't used for about two years, so I thought I, I, I've no idea if the battery's holding the charge or anything like that. So I thought bugger it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it into CEX. And I ended up getting about 125 quid for it. So um, I ended up putting that money towards, uh, I, put, uh, I ordered 15 Mega Drive games from CEX. I've got 12 here because three, three was returned, which I'm well happy with. I remember saying ages ago about, I was literally, I was ordering stuff from CEX, like Mega Drive games, and I swear it was about two in 10 were coming with manuals, um, obviously like boxed copies, and I, I was just like, um, I, I, think, I think the bubbles burst with it, but I'm, I'm gonna eat my words a little bit now because so I ordered these 15, didn't know what to expect, and I'm keeping 12 of them. Now, they haven't all got manuals, but I am really happy with them, really happy with my purchase, especially for an old phone that weren't, that wasn't doing anything. First up, we've got um, Little Mermaid, Ariel. Never played this game. Doesn't have a manual. As I'm sure there was about three of these that didn't have the manual, and I think they're all on top. Um, again, cartridges ran the wrong way. Again, still haven't cleaned these ones either. These only come the other day. Um, and I give it to CEX as well. They do post their stuff out so quick. So I ordered them last Wednesday morning. I think it was 12 of them came the next morning and then the, the next three the, the, the morning after. So yeah, Ariel Little Mermaid. Great film. One of my favourite films. I'm not even ashamed to say it. I love, love Little Mermaid. It's my sort of era. Um, next up, Jewel Master. I mean, again, you, you, can, you can check on CEX what I paid for these separately. So I'm sure it was about 100 and I think it was about 140 quid for all 15, but obviously I've ended up getting about 20 odd quid back for the free I returned. This was another one without a manual. Um, again, it's a game I don't know too much about. And look at it, it looks a bit like Space Area. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. After doing this video, I'm gonna try Jewel Master out. Now this one, again, I know nothing about it, but I've heard good things. I know uh, Bit Ed was talking about this game 
that you would, would like to have seen it on the, uh, the Mega Drive Mini, Mystic Defender. Again, another one without a manual, so I'm sure that that's the only three that came without a manual. Um, bit of marker pen on the barcode. I, to be honest, I'm, I always want them in sort of sevens, sevens and above. Uh, ideally, the, uh, the really sought after stuff, I want, I want eights and nines, but the uh, sort of 15, 20 quid games, if that, 10, 10 to 20 quid games, or 20 quid and under, I don't, I don't mind a bit of patina with them. Now this is a game I've been uh, after for a while, so uh, Big Mike, you can stop tagging me in uh, eBay listings. Zenon 2 Mega Blast. Obviously everyone knows I love my shooters, and I think this was like one of the only shooters I, I didn't have, but I knew I could get it cheaper than a tenner, and I'm pretty sure it was about a tenner via CEX. Manual's in there, again it's seen a couple of thumbs. Um, and what looks like a little bit of biro as well, which again, not overly worried. Just shows the game's been played and loved, and that it's obviously real. I don't think anyone would uh, do a repro of Zenon 2, but you never know. Next up, ISS, International Superstar Stocker, which I don't think I've ever played on Mega Drive. Again, it, it, even as a kid, I was I was on FIFA's for Mega Drive, and obviously Sensible World Soccer on the Amiga. Um, never, I don't think I've ever played ISS, but it doesn't actually look too bad. Penalties look quite fun. Give that a go as well. Cause it, again, massive football fan. Love playing old football games, whether they're good or bad. Love checking them out. Really cheap title, this one. Um, again, I've, I thought the classic copy was going to come to me. A Rolo the Rescue, but nope. Give me the full price EA box. All complete. And all in there in a again hang tab as well. Can't go wrong. What is that? Like a platformer? Yeah, it looks like a bit of a platformer. I can't can't imagine it being very good because it's always really really cheap. Again, I didn't I didn't really push the boat out much with these uh, with these CX games. Um, next up, Asterix, Great Rescue. All complete. I mean, again, what I was saying about the bundles, about not really seeing these games. Again, you, you will see some of these games, but where I've got... I mean, how many games have I got now? I think I've got about 350 over that, over 350. Now, you imagine, you see this in a bundle, because, again, it's another quite common game. It's going to have Sonic with it, it's going to have Sonic 2, it's going to have Streets of Rage, it's, do you know what I mean? It's going to have all the games which I've already got, so there's no way I, I could be bothered to spend now, like... 100 quid for a bundle just for literally two quite common games. Um, I'm just a little bit gutted that CEX doesn't bundle prices for postage now, but is what it is. Next up, again, another really good condition EA box. And that's Populous. Hang tab, intact. Really nice, tight box. Like a tight box. Again, everything's in there. Got the... Uh, Got Mega Drive. Is that what is this? Some sort of poster. I did notice this in here. I thought it was literally just a. Uh, oh yeah, it's like an EA. Oh, that's pretty cool. Populous poster. I mean, I don't know how many EA games got these, but it's all, all the um, EA games on the back. Promotion poster. But that's pretty cool. As I say, another cheap game, but well happy with that. Let's chuck that all back in here. Again, manual's seen a couple of thumbs, but I mean, I don't really know what that plays like. I know it's a bit of a, it's, I'd say it's more of an Amiga game, but the sort of games you need a mouse for. Now this game, Royal Rumble. Um, again, I've bought this, and I'm not sure if I already have it. I'm sure there's, I don't know how many games there are. I know there's a few WWF games I'm missing for the Mega Drive. And I've bought this, and I went on to Retro Collect, and I couldn't, it, it was, I can't remember if it was either already ticked off. I'm going to have to look into it, because I know I, I haven't got the arcade, I haven't got the arcade game, and there's another one I haven't got. And I thought it was this, but I'm going to have to look into that. But again, hang tabs in there, bit of a knock on the bottom of the case, but all complete. Can't go wrong with this. Now this game has been on my radar for quite a while. Um, to be honest, it doesn't even really look like my sort of game, but I absolutely love the art on it. And that's the Immortal. 
skin. <laughs> really tight EA box. I don't know where these are all coming from. These are usually absolutely battered. But this is a really nice nick. Really good nick. And look at that. Look at that artwork. I love that Grim Reaper. It's awesome. Now, this, another one. Not sure. I know I had this loose cart. And I'm sure I had the second one. But I don't think I've got the first one. But... I mean, watching two of UK's video earlier, he's uh, he's obviously gone like used retro collect like a lot of people do, myself included, and he's come to the end and he's gone through it all and realised he's he's clicked off games that he might have just had loose carts. Obviously, he's been doing it five, six, seven years. I think he said exactly the same as me. I think I've been on there since about maybe not as long as that, maybe about four years, and I've done exactly the same thing. And I had both both of these Busby. One and two, I had them both ticked off, but again, I only had them cart only. Um, in fact, I think I've got some loose carts up there. I know, I, well, I can see them, but it's, um, I know I've got super off-road that's, that's ticked off, which I've only got loose cart, so that's gonna have to come, come undone. There's a few others as well, like Buck Rogers. So, yeah, Busby. Again, case not amazing, but these accolade cases, do you know what I mean? You can't just get a normal one. I don't know. Busby's not a great game anyway. I can I can live with that. I can live with that case. It's not too bad actually. So it's just a bit of a knock at the hang tab. And this one again, not easy to get a box upgrade for this one. And one I'm surprised I didn't even have. Virtual Racing. The old S is it STV cart, SVP cart. <laughs> but yeah, all complete. Really, I'm, I wouldn't mind giving this one a go actually, but yeah, it's got a beast of a cartridge. So again, it's, it's obviously got the proper box, but the only one I wasn't able... Uh, mo most of them came with hang tags, to be fair. This was the, on the only one I can't replace, but yeah, really happy with uh, really happy with that bundle from CEX. I don't think I've done too bad. Right, so on to uh, the last bundle, which... This was a uh, this was a, an eBay bundle, and it cost me an absolute fortune. It cost me it, honestly. It, there's, there was quite a few games I wanted. Um, how many games we got here? Nine. There's 14 games. There's some sought after ones in here as well. Um, five of them I already had, and I thought if I obviously win the auction, sell the five I don't need, which will bring back some good money. Um, and then obviously, yeah, we'll we'll go from there. But the the, the auction, the games cost me four four hundred and thirty quid. They came to, and uh, as I say, there was only five I didn't have, and I'm hoping to get in and around two hundred quid back. For in fact, I might as well show them. I've got them here. So we've got a very popular Lion King, all complete. Um, again, what's that? A tenor at best. We've got that one which seems to be going for a little bit more now. I reckon I'll, it's all complete, this one. Um, maybe 25 quid, something like that, between 25 and 30. And then we've got Zero Wing, which isn't complete. Again, uh, between 20 and 25. So say, I don't know, about 50 quid there. In fact, I'm probably gonna get about 190. Because these two, in fact, no, I'm not gonna show those two, but I've got um, a buyer for them already. And I won't ruin his video, so um, yeah, I'll leave them. Uh, I'll leave them to one side. But yeah, hopefully I can get in and around two hundred quid for those, and that means that these will have cost me about two forty. Which, looking at them, um, I don't think it's the worst deal. I reckon if you sold them separately, you'd probably get about three hundred quid. Um, so yeah, I'll probably save myself about sixty quid something like that 50 60 quid which isn't bad because again there's some sort after titles here let's uh get them in a bit of a better order where i can show the the less sought after ones first um let's go with that order right so first one incredible hulk again all complete Cart ran the wrong way. Pretty thumbed manual, but again, not one you see that often. I mean, I don't think it's very expensive. Again, about probably 10, 15 quid at most. 
Then we've got, again, this is another one I might already have. I'm not sure. Taz in Escape from Mars. Again, all complete. Cart around the wrong way. What is going on? Don't know what is going on with all that? But yeah, missing hang tab. A few of these were actually missing hang tabs. Now this one again, I didn't have. Um, I've got the both full price releases, but it's um, Castle of Illusion and Quack Shot. This one had the hang tab. In fact, this one's in uh, in really nice nick. But yeah, I didn't have the double pack. Needs a bit of a clean. That's what I mean. I've, I've literally been picking this stuff up and it's been going in the corner ready to show. Don't usually do that. Usually go over with a, with a cloth. Remove stickers and all that. Um, and then this one is uh, Bart's Nightmare, Simpsons. Again, another one you don't see that often. All complete. That's a Genesis then. Uh, yeah, happy with that again. All complete. Again, hang tabs, a bit cracked, which is a, bit, a little bit annoying, but at least it's there. And then we've got, let's go on to, uh, let's go on to this one. Again, another game being on my radar, because um, I've got to get a bit of a sticker off there. But it's a uh, Chaos Engine. Obviously, I love the Amiga version. I mean, this isn't going like down in price. It seems to be, keep going up in price. I'm sure it used to be around a 15, 20 quid game, and now it seems to have sort of jumped up to about 30, 40. Um, but it's all complete. Bit, let's say a bit of a sticker there, which I can uh, I can clean that off. So yeah, happy with Chaos Engine. Um, then this one again, you don't see this very often. Man overboard. Don't know anything about it. No idea, but I'm sure it's about a 40 quid game. Codemasters game, so different case to uh, a lot of the others and. Everything seems in there. You've got like nice, nice manual, nice cart. I mean, by all means, if these, if any of these games I'm showing you that I don't know about, if they're any good, let me know in the comments. Because uh, who knows if I'll get round to ever playing them. And then let's go with this one. We've got Virtual Bart, which it's it's not in mint condition and it's missing the manual, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, you still uh, much looking for virtual part now complete. What about 70 quid? Um, in incomplete, what 40, 45 maybe. I don't know. But again, another one in the collection. Now this one's quite special. I didn't even realize, uh, this, this, this was what it was. Um, when I ordered it, but it came really surprised um it's onslaught and it's sealed to the uk so yeah really happy with that completely sealed onslaught and i'm sure that that's is that the most sought after ballistics box I don't actually own too many ballistic boxes, to be honest. I've got some of the nicer ones, like, um, well, I say the nice ones, some of the better games, like Double Dragon and uh, Universal Soldier. But on store, I'm sure that's one of the harder ones to get, get hold of. Now, probably the, uh, the most sought after expensive game in that bundle. Um, again, don't know a massive deal about it. Don't know uh, if it's a really good game, but I know it's very sought after. And it's uh, the only game I know that has a red cartridge, and it's Maximum Carnage with Venom and Spider-Man. So, uh, box, all nice condition, hang tab, manual, nice red cart. I mean, I still haven't had any of these apart yet, but looking at them, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't expect any of them being fake. I say they've all got patina, and uh, yeah, I don't expect any of them to be fake so yeah really happy to add those in the collection so yeah onwards and upwards with the Mega Drive collection hopefully uh, I can make a bit of a dent in it revival next week and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them because I've started boxing them and putting them up the loft but 
suppose that's what all collectors do, don't they, when they start running out of space? But anyway, until next time, YouTube, you take care. See you at Revival next week.